Good day, everyone. So today, I'm over at my brother's place, and we're going to mill up this bur oak log. <clears throat> As you can see here, I'm uh, cranking it up with the winch system, the ramp and winch system. Uh, we calculated this log to weigh around 1,500 to 1,800 pounds, and she's not light. Taking two hands to crank it up. It's the first time I've had to use two hands, but um, stay tuned. We're going to mill this bad boy up. Some time. I think I got there about 10:30, and you know it takes a little while to get set up, get the log up on there and stuff. So it was probably 11 or so, but it was one o'clock before I got done sawing it all up. Um, I have some footage and earlier in the video here showing what all we got. He cut a lot of stuff, two inch or. Uh, and then some that was uh, six quarter um, when we got down to the smaller cans. There was a lot of nails in this tree. Um, <laughs> when I, I had a blade, fairly new blade on, on the mill when I got there and I brought two brand new blades with and they're all pretty much toast now. The one that's on the mill right now, you can probably do uh, little bit of cutting with yet but I know I hit a nail with it um, so it probably has a few messed up teeth at least but uh, we we're able to get everything cut up that you want to cut up and <clears throat> he has a table saw a planer and a jointer so he can take it from here as far as um, getting it broke down to the size that he wants the thing he's got to remember is there are nails in that wood. I mean, that was pretty obvious when uh, when I was milling it. But all in all, some pretty wood. Um, and it's the first burr oak I've ever milled up before. Um, I've, I've done some pin oak, 
but I've never done bur oak, which is a, a white oak. Um, but yeah, some pretty wood. And, you know, my initial plan was to maybe try to quarter saw some of it, but you're going to have to take those pieces and cut them into large chunks and then move those around or move those off and then turn and cut some more and get that big chunk off and I just didn't I didn't have the equipment there to to do that um I could only pull one thing with my truck at a time and it had to be the mill so maybe if it was at home you know or I had the tractor available I could have done something like that but Basically, he just wanted it broke down into something that he could work with uh, himself with the uh, tools that he has in, in his shop. So, <clears throat> some pretty cool pieces off of it, though. There was some rot in the middle, and, uh, you know, so it's not all perfect, clean, clear wood, but uh, he doesn't care. He's, you know, probably going to make some. Uh, crazy epoxy table or something like, like that with it so um, it should work out well for him and I didn't bring anything home with me I, I figured it's his tree and he can do what he wants with it um, but yeah definitely went through some blades um, my first box I think I have two new blades left and then I have a uh, another whole box of blades so um, I've heard of you know some carbide tip blades so I might look into getting some of those in case I run into a, a log that has metal in it so I can you know throw that on and save the blades we'll see but as far as uh, how well this trailers it it's doing pretty good you know I'm not you know going 70 or anything I'm on a county road so I'm going to speed limit but it it seems to be handling pretty good made it over there just fine I was able to back up next to the log just fine and uh, get everything set up to to start milling I was impressed with the winch system and you've seen footage of that earlier um, it worked pretty dang good for getting that log put up on the, onto the mill to, to get things started. And, uh, you know, I had to do a little trimming to get the first cut done. And um, then we started taking some slabs off and then turned it uh, 90 degrees. And, um, well, actually, we turned it 180 degrees and then uh, cut till we started hitting metal. Then we decided to flip it up on end and just get some slabs off and um, actually there were some boards after we got the first one we got some boards off um, some two inch boards so so yeah he got got some pretty decent uh, boards out of this this tree so um, it was a pretty good learning experience for today um, dealing with uh, metal in the log. It's the first time I've had that with this sawmill. I've, I've seen it before, chainsaw milling, but uh, the first time I've seen it with this, this mill, so. Um, hopefully you found this video useful, entertaining, or whatever. Um, if you did, uh, hit, consider hitting the like. It uh, helps YouTube know that people like this type of content. And, um, and if this type of stuff is something you want to see in the future, consider hitting the subscribe. I really appreciate it. It really helps the channel out. Um, YouTube will show my video to more people that way. And, and then more people will see what I'm doing. So <clears throat> Thanks again for stopping in today. Until next time, be safe, brothers and sisters.